Today, we're going to be looking into the world of Instagram dropshipping. Instagram. 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 Now, this probably isn't something that you've heard about a lot, but trust me, Instagram, when it comes to your dropshipping store or dropshipping in general, is a very popular platform and a very powerful tool that you can use to be able to promote your store and bring in more profits, get more sales, and just ultimately get your products in front of the eyes of a lot more people. A lot of people. So if you've been struggling to build your Instagram account, or if you've been struggling to make any sales, or if you've just been struggling with your business overall, this video could help you actually start to get more sales and get in front of the eyes of more people. This video could introduce you to a much wider demographic of people. And you never know, at the end of the day, some of your posts or some of your videos could potentially go viral and you can make a ton of money just because of one video. So let's go ahead and check out a few different Instagram profiles, all from some of the most popular drop shipping websites, their niches. Let's dissect some of their posts. Let's see what they're posting. Let's check out how many followers they have and see what they're doing in order to bring in more traffic to their stores. This can actually help you in turn start to kind of mimic what they're doing. So that way you can start to build up your own brand and start to build up your own following and in turn build up your bank account by getting more sales. Now, before we do go ahead and get started with checking out these different Instagram profiles, if you want a bit more information on Instagram dropshipping, or if you want all of the different links to the different profiles on this list, just go ahead and check out the description down below. There's going to be a link to a relevant article down there. So Instagram, the place where everyone goes to share photos of their families, of what they're doing, post stories about what they're currently doing, or just sometimes just post a couple of funny videos on Instagram reels. Now, me personally, I've never been much of a social media person, but I've always seen the benefit that I can have for pretty much any business. Instagram is the place to be able to go showcase all of your products, what they do, your reviews, pretty much anything that has to do with your business, you can essentially post on Instagram. And on top of that, you can also post whatever you want that's relevant to your business to be able to attract more customers. Instagram right now has 1.2 billion users. That's an insane amount of eyes that you can potentially be in front of. And the best part about it is that Instagram makes it pretty easy and best of all, free to get in front of the eyes of all of these different people. And that is where dropshipping comes into play. Since there are so many users on Instagram, there's a lot of people that you can put your products in front of the eyes of. And of course, we all know that we're targeting impulse buyers. So whoever comes across your post, if it's interesting enough, if you're doing a good job with what you're doing, they can potentially click on your profile, click on the link on your bio and go to your website and make a purchase. So with that being said, let's go ahead and check out the top 10 dropshipping Instagram profiles. All right. So first up on this list, we have Meowtons Co. Now Meowtons is a specialty cat shop that specializes in, well, cats. <laughs> So the first thing that we're going to notice when we jump onto their Instagram profile is their little logo. It's pretty cute with a cat on it and they have a few pinned stories. These pinned stories are pretty much a few things that the creator thinks are important and they decide to pin it to their profile so anybody can reference them or anybody can see what these are about or what they're about. Now, aside from that, one of the first things that actually jumps out at me is right under their bio, they have their link in their bio. Of course, as a dropshipper, this is something that's absolutely essential. Whether you're on TikTok or you're on Instagram, you always want to have your link in your bio so that way people know where they can purchase your items. Now clicking into that, the first page that it takes us to is their fall arrivals. Here you can see they have actually a mix of different things. So check this out. All three of these are definitely 100% dropship, but this seems to also be somewhat of a hybrid store incorporating both print on demand and dropshipping. So while these are definitely dropshipping, this right here, these are also dropshipping. This shirt, these two shirts, this cup, these bags, this is all print on demand. So they have a pretty good mix of print on demand and dropshipping. But of course, everything is geared specifically towards their niche which is cats. Now going back to their profile, let's see some of those different things that they actually post on there. So the last thing that they posted on here is actually a meme, which is really good. So here's the thing. You don't want to flood your Instagram with only your products because it's going to get boring. You're not going to really have that connection with your customers. If you're only uploading posts that have to do with your products or with somebody using your product, it's not going to resonate with an Instagram audience. When people go on Instagram, people like to be entertained and simply just looking at products over and over and over on a page, it's not entertaining, people will typically just scroll away. So having memes on here or having different types of posts, informative posts, educational posts, funny posts, things that people can relate to, things that can answer people's questions, that is imperative to have in your store, as long as it's relevant to your niche. Of course, this right here is definitely relevant. Here has a pair of green cat eyes, 
huh is that you milton what are you doing here in the bathroom flicks switch and they're just eating away at the toilet paper my dog actually does that and it's so annoying but aside from that you can see that their caption is there's a monster in the bathroom and this is really to just have fun with your audience you don't want to be too serious when it comes to instagram or social media because it's not all about business you want to have some fun on there you want to make sure that your viewers are entertained you want to make sure that they're informed and most importantly that they're engaged with your content because that's what's going to make your viewers share your content and you're going to reach a way broader audience. That's how you're going to grow. So aside from that, let's check out what else they have. Let's check out their last five posts. So this is the first one. Number two is their actual product. Of course, it's always okay to promote your products on Instagram because I mean, that's what you're there for, right? So here you can see for Prime Day, you can enjoy $100 off. Keep scrolling, another meme. My parents don't have grandchildren yet. So this is what's on the bedside table in their guest's bedroom. And it's a picture of a cat. Then as you can see here in the comments, people are resonating really well with this. People are loving this. I think it's perfect, very true. Tags, this is what you want. You want people being tagged because this is what's gonna get more people to follow your account. And look at this, a whopping 5,000 likes. Let's continue, another meme and a little reel. Reels are something that you really wanna get onto if you're not doing yet because when you're upload Instagram Reels, you reach a way broader audience than you would with a typical post. Instagram Reels is kind of like TikTok in the sense that Instagram will push out a ton of different content to some really random people. And if they resonate with it and interact with it, it'll push it out to more people. So those are just a few of the last posts that they posted on here. As you can see, it's more of a fun, it's more of a lighthearted page. It's not strictly business. This is done super well. Looking at their follower count, they have over 782 thousand followers that's a lot of people as far as posts they have 13,000 posts so you can see that they're very active on instagram and of course you can tell that they're pretty successful i mean if they have this many followers and this many people interacting with their posts they definitely have people clicking on that link in their bio now second up on this list is notebook therapy let's check out what they say about themselves and their bio welcome to notebook therapy a place where everyone's welcome to create memories and express themselves shop buhos Bujos, I'm not sure exactly what that is. Washi tapes, stencils, and more. And right there, link in bio. Let's check out their website, Notebook Therapy. Oh, this is really nice. This is really clean. This right here, this banner is beautiful. All right, keep scrolling. You got the Lunar Mystery, a special Halloween collection inspired by the moon and stars. Releases in a day. That's pretty cool. High quality images. Everything looks really good, really clean, easy to navigate. Got the all categories up here. Looks good. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, and they even got a blog section. This is great. Now let's jump back over to their website. And they have 1.6 million followers with only 5,000 posts. That's pretty crazy. All right, so let's check out something else here. Let's see. Of course, they have their different pins stories. Let's take a look at one of these. Let's see what they have. So journey a uh, buddy. I'm assuming this is journey to Paris. And this is pretty much just showing, I guess, their collection, their collection of Paris notebooks. Okay, pretty cool. Now let's take a look at what they post. So, so far they have the notebook therapy. So this is actually one of their items. This is a stamp set. That's pretty cool. All right. So they have a stamp set that they're showing on here. That's actually a very nice image. The way that they have this image structured is very clean. It really centers your focus to the product itself. All right, so this next one is the Lunar Mystery Washi Swatch. So this is a reel and they're showing you their sticker set with their notebook and they're just drawing along with it. This is something really good because this captivates the viewer. This keeps people's attention with all of the different colors, the stickers, the drawing. Everything that they're doing is actually really entertaining and it's pretty peaceful and relaxing. Let's check out some of the comments. Beautiful and relaxing to watch. <laughs> I knew it. Relaxing to watch. Can't decide. They are also beautiful. Everything's my fave. How can one choose? Let's keep going. And this is a very good image as well of their notebook. This is actually really cool. This is a really nice page. You have, again, another product page over here. And as you can see, all right, this is one post that doesn't necessarily have to do with their products. I was about to say that all they do is post their products, but I mean, if it works for them, it works. So here they're doing some artwork and they tag the creator. So this is actually pretty cool. This is another thing that you can do. If people actually submit artwork to you, if people submit posts, if people tag you in posts, reposting it and tagging them can also help you reach a wider audience. That also helps your viewers notice that you're actually appreciating them, that you appreciate their tags, that you appreciate their interactions, which ultimately gets them to interact more and other people to interact more because they want to be featured on your page. Continuing a couple more, we 
we have another notebook and another nice little image here. Watercolor flowers and plants say for inspiration. Incredible artwork by Dang underscore go. Of course, you see another tag with another feature on the page. Next up, we have Kenzie. Now, this is actually a very interesting one. This is one that I actually wanted to check out and cover because this item right here, this laser hair remover is pretty wildly popular. I've seen a bunch of different versions of it, a bunch of different people that sell different variations. So it's interesting to see a successful Instagram profile that's actually promoting this product. So first off, you have their website. Let's check out to see how that is. And you have Kenzie and it takes you to all their products. So you can see everything that they have to offer, which all seems to be skincare and hair removal and a little bit of all that stuff. Obviously stuff that I don't use. So let's check out their different posts. Oh, actually, let's check out here. So they have a few different pin stories. They have the results, which is actually pretty cool. Before and afters are really good for items like this. It provides social proof, especially if it's like this in the form of testimonials. So they have their before and afters like that right there. That's really good to see. You know, it tells people that it actually works. It shows you how it works. Now let's scroll down a little bit and let's check out some of their posts. So here you have Paris Hilton. Whoa, okay, that is a huge celebrity endorsement. All right, that right there is just get a celebrity endorsement and your Instagram profile is gonna blow up. But let me let me see something. Can't really zoom into that, but yeah, it does seem to actually say the logo. Aside from that, let's see, this is actually from 68 weeks ago. This is pretty old, but it's got some pretty good interactions. 233 likes. Now let's continue. You have the actual product. Typically when you post just a basic picture of your product or whatever it is that you're selling, depending on your brand and depending on your audience, they might react to it. But a lot of the times from personal experience, it's not always gonna be the one that's the most interacted with. So they actually have a couple of different slides with some of their different products. Okay, let me see what they're doing here. So continue on. What have you done for yourself? self today. It's so important to add self care to your daily routine. This one actually doesn't really have many interactions either. So as you can see in this particular profile, they don't have too many interactions. And the reason is because they more than likely run a lot of ads. A lot of times whenever you see an Instagram profile that has a ton of followers and not a lot of interactions, that could mean one of two things. One, either they have purchased their followers, which is a huge no-no because there's no point in doing that. That's literally just a waste of money. Or two, they're just simply running ads and all of the interactions are primarily going to be in the posts that are being ran as ads. Now looking at the profile here, the celebrity endorsement is huge. That's something that honestly you can't get away from. If you have a celebrity endorse your product, you're bound to get sales. But aside from that, taking a look at some of their other posts, they have some pretty low interaction rates. They have one comment, two comments, th 13 likes. It's not huge. So my takeaway on this is that more than likely either they purchased their followers, which I don't want to say that because you never know, or they're just simply running a lot of ads and they're getting a lot of interactions through those ads. It happens a lot. Now I switched over from the posts to the reels and let's see how the reels are doing. So some of the reels are actually doing better. As you can see, this one has a thousand. This one has 18,000. This is another huge thing. Like I mentioned earlier, Instagram reels can get a lot more views than your typical posts. So always post reels because you have the chance of going viral. This one right here being the perfect example. As you can see, the regular posts don't have a lot of interactions, but this reel right here actually has 18,000 views with 520 likes. So here I can safely say that their views, they're not purchased. They're not purchasing their followers. They're not doing any of that stuff. They're simply just getting their views from their reels. So here you have this one that has 3,000, 5,000, 9,000, 13,000, 18, 17. Yeah. So that's what they're doing. 33,000. Their views and their followers all come from their reels. So if you're not doing reels, if you're not filming Instagram reels, what are you waiting for? You're definitely missing out. You're missing out on potentially thousands, if not tens of thousands of people. Now, now let's just jump over to their tagged really fast and let's see what people have them tagged in. So here they have a couple of tagged posts, which actually have some pretty good interactions as well. 3,882, 68,000 likes. This is where a lot of the followers come from as well. If you can get people to start tagging you, then you can start reaching other people's followers. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next one. This is actually something that I really like, kawaii's. So kawaii pen shop. So here they have these little kawaii figures and they pretty much specialize in pens, I guess. Let's see. We are full of super cute, pretty and eye-catching stationery. All right, stationery. Sure to satisfy all stationery addicts. Free international shipping available. Let's check out their website. So they have the kawaii pen shop. As you can see here, they have a pretty clean website, a nice little banner there. Everything looks good, everything matches, everything matches the theme. Here they have the little character desk lights and they got some pens. So things for the office, things for your home office, your desk, things like that. A little milk box pencil case. This is pretty cool. This is pretty unique. Let's check out their posts. So they have a few different pinned ones here. And let's start with this one. Transform your desk into a whimsical space with kawaii Japanese Sakura coaster set. Okay. So 
these are coasters. These are pretty cool. So these different coasters, let's see their interactions. They have, this was only posted a day ago and you actually can't see how many likes they have, which means they probably have that hidden. So I guess this was one of those profiles that says, uh, and others. So let's see, can you see? Well, it actually has quite a bit of likes on here. All right, so they have their coaster set. Then they have a paper organizer or a file organizer. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but right here it says paper storage solution. Okay, so I guess you just store your different papers on here. Let's see what else they have. More products, different products, some pins. So as you can see, they pretty much just have their products on here. They don't do memes. They don't do any of that stuff. Hey, little Pikachu. I love Pikachu. All right, let's check out the reels. And as far as the reels, again, look at this. 51,000, 32,000, 23,000, 64,000, 38,000. Reels is where it's at, yo. If you're not doing reels, you need to get on it. But let's see what they're putting on their reels. Let's go with one of their popular ones right here. This fall, send a bouquet of Jinko roses or Ginkgo roses. So I guess it's showing you how to make these little roses from their different stationary sets. Maybe they sell these different products. Video by Nature's. Okay, so this is another feature that they have. They re-uploaded one of their followers' videos. Now let's keep going, see some of the other stuff they have. A quick drawing and Starry Night using acrylic paint on canvas. I'm pretty sure this is stuff that they sell on their website as well. So yeah, reels. <laughs> you got to get on reels. So how many followers do they have? They have 2,070 posts and they have 391,000 followers. Not bad. Up next, we have Pet Boutique Shop. Now, Pet Boutique Co. Stunning products for stunning pets and their owners. Let's check out their website. And it looks pretty, it actually looks modern. It looks pretty high end, pretty, it's got a good modern look to it. It's pretty easy on the eyes. And of course, it has pets on it. Who doesn't love pets? Who doesn't love dogs? Who doesn't love those big fur babies? All right, so it's pretty easy to navigate. You got the shop button up here. Let's see what they sell. So they have pet plushies. They have a calming bed, a calming blanket, and a couch pillow. And it seems like that's it. They actually specialize on these three different products. So that's going to be interesting to see what they post on their Instagram page. So jumping back on here, they have 14,000 followers and they only have 65 posts. So they have a Christmas giveaway post. This is, uh, I'm assuming from last year, make your dog happy. Now you can do that and see save some money. You got a Black Friday sale here, which we actually have Black Friday coming up. And you have this one right here, ready for the obstacles this week will bring. So this is just, again, another meme. It's not necessarily focused on the product itself. I guess it's time to get all Christmassy and you got the person that tagged them or that originally uploaded it. So that's pretty much what they do on their profile. They don't necessarily post their products, even though you can see right here, there's one, but they do a lot of reposts. They do some informative posts and they also do memes. So let's check out this one that actually shows what they're doing. What are you looking at? Just chilling on her new furniture pillow. So this is somebody that purchased the item, took a picture on their dog, tagged the company, and then the company reposted this. Now, before we continue, please, if you're enjoying this video so far, if you've watched all the way up until here, I'm pretty sure you have. So if that's the case, just make sure you smash that like button. And while you're there, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Now, let's get back to it. All right, up next, we have inspireuplift.com. It's funny that they actually put .com on here. So here they have, actually, they don't have any pinned posts. That's fun, that's crazy. So they have, tag us to be featured. That's actually something really good that I think everyone should have on their bio if they have enough space for it. Tell people that they'll be featured if they tag you. This will motivate people to tag you, which again, will put you in front of a broader audience. Now let's check out their website, Inspire Uplift. Let's see what they sell. This is a pretty big website. Fun, practical, and inspiring products. They have things from women's clothing, men's clothing, rings, earrings, skincare, and learning in school. They sell a little bit of a lot of things on here. Home, garden, and tools. So let's see what they have. They have something for fishing, a little kid's chair, cutting wood or branches outside. This is quite the mix of items. This is obviously a generic dropshipping store. And to be honest with you, it's uh, it's all over the place. Um, it is too cluttered. I think the homepage is way too much in your face. It's pretty overwhelming. I think this could have been organized a little bit better. Pretty sure that if you decide to do something like this, you could make it a lot better than these people do. But aside from that, let's check out their page. They have 72,000 followers, which is pretty good. 4,700 posts. And let's start with the first one. DIY Fox Ornaments. Find it on Inspire Uplift Marketplace. All right, so this is one of the items that they sell. And I like the fact that they're promoting it, but they're not directly promoting it. They're showing you how to make it, and then they're telling you where you can get it. They're not telling you, look, this is where you can get this item. They're showing you what it is, how it works. And in the caption, they're telling you, if you want it, you can get it over here. And on top of that, it's a reel. Reels always do well. Not always, but you know. Find it on Inspire Uplift Embroidery Manavi 05. What is that? So this is an embroidery machine or a patch. I'm not entirely sure. Not much information on this. They should have put a little bit more 
more in here, something explaining more or less what it is. I'm assuming that it's probably the embroidery machine, considering the type of page that it is, but you never know. So it seems that all of their posts are pretty similar with the same text. They tell you where to get it and they show you more or less how the item works. Yes, yeah, so you see, same exact text. That's pretty lazy, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I don't really like that. Be unique, you know, make the posts different, make the text different, but the videos themselves actually aren't that bad. So yeah, it's pretty much the same thing all around. I'm pretty bored of this one. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not a fan of this particular one. It's a bit generic. The website's a bit cluttered, but I mean, it seems to be getting the job done. So now I jumped over to the tagged section really quick. And while the tags don't have too many interactions, 12, 13, seven, two, three, one, they do have quite a few of tags. So quite a few people have tagged them in their posts. Next up, we have material shop. And they only have 83 posts with 8,400 followers. Now that's not too bad considering the amount of posts that they have. Let's check out their website. 50,000 happy customers since 2019. All right, let's see what they have to offer. So they have a label maker pro right in the front of their website. So that tells me that this could be a few gadgets. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Different gadgets, different dropshipping items. These are pretty cool right here. Pretty clean, pretty straight to the point. You can tell that they niche down to right there. Pretty gadget items, I guess you can call them. You got a few home improvement, which gadgets. All right, so aside from everything, it's pretty clean. The images are pretty high quality. Everything looks good. Uh, let's check out what they have to offer on their page. So the first one they have is this right here, which is pretty interesting. What is that? It deserves a gentle wash. That is freaking me out. Oh, okay. All right, let me pause that for a second. That tripped me out right there. I'm not gonna lie to you. That kind of freaked me out. I was like, what is that? What are they trying to promote? They're promoting this waterfall extender. So it's just an add-on for your sink. It's a pretty good way to do it. You know, it doesn't have a lot of interactions. It only has two likes. It's, it's a pretty good way to do it. I like it. It's funny. Aside from that, let's see what else they have. They have this clock right here that works with this little bicycle chain. This is really cool. Got a few more messy leftover. What are they going to do? Let's see. Label maker. Perfect. Got it. All right. So it seems that pretty much what they do on their page is they promote their own products and they make their own videos. So all of their posts are them promoting their products. Let's go ahead and check out the reels. See what they have here. They have a few with some pretty good views. 3,000, 3,000, 5,000. Let's see if they're tagged in anything. They only have one. Whoa, they only have one, but it's 22,000. All right, that's not bad. The floored canvas. I'm pretty sure they have some pretty good followers on there and they probably gained some pretty good followers from that. Overall, this page is pretty straightforward. You know, there's not too much going on here. It's not too interactive. There's not a lot here that can keep your attention. If you notice the difference between this one and the first one that I showed you, the Meowtons Co. Obviously, this one has a ton more followers, but they also have more interactive posts. And more than likely, that's why they have have more followers because their posts are more engaging. People can resonate more with them. People find it more relevant to what they like. And as you can tell, they're niching down to cats and all of their posts have to do with cats. On top of that, like I said, they have memes, they have videos, they have a lot of different posts that people really do interact with because they're entertaining. People can relate to it. So I'm pretty sure with some of the products that they offer on here, if they had more relatable posts, if they had more funny posts, you know, more tags, maybe even a few memes that have to do with a certain problem that's solved with one of these products, let's say, I'm pretty sure that their follower count will start skyrocketing. All right, next up we have Until Gone Com or Until Gum. I'm pretty sure they just put Com at the end of this because just the simple handle Until Gone was probably already taken. But aside from that, here they have UntilGone.com. They have 10.8 thousand followers with almost 2,000 posts. Let's check out what they sell on their website. And the first thing that it jumps to is a 404 error. So while it is directly on their page, it's not taking you to a specific product or a specific landing page. So this right here is a big no, no. Always make sure that the link in your bio leads to something, not this, but at least it leads to their page, right? So let's check out some of their different categories. They have animals, apparel, baby and toddler, business, electronics, health and beauty. All right. So this is a pretty generic store. They sell a little bit of everything. Let's go to their homepage. Oh, look at that. A 500 game in one handheld, a Bissell cordless pet pro vacuum and a solid gold chain. What a random three items to have in your homepage. Oh wait. And a food processor. All right. So this is obviously a very generic store here you can find probably a little bit of everything and it looks like they're currently having a sale for halloween treat yourself no tricks up to 77 percent off halloween's at the end of the month so if you see a lot of halloween stuff on here it's probably why but aside from that the website itself it's pretty basic it just shows you a bunch of different products of what they sell and their reviews so i mean it could be better it gets the job done but it, it's pretty plain in my opinion it gets the job done you could structure it a lot better if you actually spend some time on it organize
organize the different sections, organize the different categories, add a couple of different pictures, some details, some testimonials, things like that. It would make it stand out a little bit more. Okay, so now let's check out their Instagram profile. So the first thing that I see on here is just straight advertising. Nothing to interact with, nothing fun, nothing really that catches my attention other than them promoting their products. Actually, this one right here. Look around, you're in the center of the action now, grandma. You see, this is the type of stuff that works. Put more stuff like this and guaranteed some of these are gonna start blowing up. But anyway, aside from that, I've always wanted to put my grandma on a VR headset, see how that goes. But anyway, aside from that, so they have the guess the price, you got an electric scooter here. I guess they try to be interactive with it by having customers guess the price, but as you can see, it's not necessarily working. Next one, how to use AirPods Pro with active noise cancellation. I don't think too many people really need an explanation on how to use AirPods, but sure. Link in my story, just a few different advertisements. Yeah, this right here isn't something that really keeps my attention and I'm pretty sure it's something that won't keep your attention. So again, like I always suggest, put some memes, put some fun stuff. Don't just be all business, be relatable. Well, these are the reels. Let's check out the posts, my bad. But when it comes to the posts, it's pretty much the same thing. They're just posting on their same products and nothing else. Now let's see if they're tagged and they are tagged on some random posts. I mean, maybe this one, thank you, Eugster Deals for this possum toys. I don't think this has anything to do with it. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie to you, this Instagram page is, while it does have a good amount of followers, 10,000, it's a little bit all over the place and really it's just not optimal. They could grow so much more if they put a little bit more effort into their page and start to be a bit more interactive with their followers. All right, up next on number nine, we have the Mellow Dog. Now the Mellow Dog has 43.5 thousand followers, 296 posts, and let's check out their website. They actually don't have a website. What they have is a link tree. Here they have the links to their different products, though the calming pillow, carrot farm, a calming couch cover, and let's see where these lead to. All right, there, the mellow dog. All right, so it's pretty much just a link tree that leads to the different products on their page. That's actually pretty smart. So here, the first website that we came to was the calming pillow, 105 reviews, pretty straightforward, some pretty high quality images, and more to love. Pretty basic dropshipping website, but it looks pretty good. I like the fact that they have a bunch of different reviews here with pictures. Pictures make all the difference. So let's check out what they have to offer on their actual page. Again, tag us to get featured, DM to collab, always good to post on your bio. Now let's see what they have on their posts. So got a little wiener dog there being a little machine gun, ta -ta 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 -ta. All right, the most dashing thing. Stuff like this is pretty fun. It starts to actually engage people. Let's see what else they have. They have some pretty good interactions too, 110 likes. This is actually a really cool toy. This is interesting. So they take out the carrot and there's treats inside. I have a pit bull, this whole thing would be destroyed, but still a pretty cool item, still a pretty good toy. When people ask me, what's the one thing that made me smile today? I've got a video of their dog, of their pup playing with that same carrot patch right there. All right, so it's pretty cool. I like the fact that they post a lot of user generated content. So, you know, content that's actually produced by people or themselves. And the fact that they actually have dogs using their items is even better because things like this will really get people to interact with your products or with your posts. People love dogs. Check out the reels really quick, which I'm pretty sure most of those were reels, but let's see how much views they have. 20,000, 12,000, 8,000, 6,000, 43,000. Doing pretty good with what they're doing. So overall, they're actually doing everything really well. They're doing their Instagram well. Their link tree is pretty interesting. It's something a little bit new. It's unique compared to uh, what everybody else has, which is pretty much links in their bios. And their website is pretty well structured. I will say it's a little bit cluttered. Like there's a lot going on, but it's not that bad. Mellow Dog. Good job. All right, and last but certainly not least, we have Astro Nord. Astro Nord CD player. What? CD player in 2023? All right, let's see what they have to offer. Astro Nord CD player, album collector's favorite. This is interesting. All right, so their website is actually really nice. I like how it is. I'm interested to see what this is. So their website looks pretty good. It's pretty clean. It's straight to the point. It's easy to navigate. Let's see what their CD player is. Oh, I guess it's just a regular CD player. Interesting. But it has some pretty funky packaging. It looks pretty cool. As you can see, it's actually powered by USB. All right, I'm getting a little bit too into this. I'm sorry. Let's go back. So the website is pretty cool. Uh, let's run back to their Instagram page and let's see what they have to offer. All right. So now that we're on their page, let's check out the first post that they have here. And they have this user has her favorites on display. Yep. CDs and photo cards are pretty not to display it out are too pretty not to display it out. Sorry. Design with me. It's a display case that you can hang on your wall that has a particular album and you can add a picture to it. This is pretty cool because you can put something like a CD for, I don't know, maybe your first date with your wife or your husband, and you can put a picture that goes along with it. So this is pretty good. It's pretty 
pretty well done. They do it good. Now let's see what else they have. All right, so they're promoting a giveaway on this one. Simple, clean, satisfying. Love the unboxing video. Unboxing videos are fantastic, especially if they're done through other users or people that actually purchase your items. So here they're unboxing the digital clock. 2,433 likes. They're doing something right. And the one thing that I think they are doing right is the way they're making their videos. The way that they're making these reels is the colors are good. It's clean. It pops, they're sharp. It looks really good. See, aside from that, what are you listening to tonight? Asking their users a question, get some good interactions, even though you don't have too many here, but you do have a good amount of likes. Oh, look, it's their CD player. All right, so continue on. And it's pretty much just the same thing going on. I mean, they seem to be doing something right because they have a good amount of followers and some pretty good interactions. Checking out the reels, they're averaging around the three, four thousands when it comes to views, 10,000, close to 10,000, 45,000. And when it comes to tagged, they're tagged in quite a few different pictures and posts so yeah again as i always say or as i've been telling you earlier make sure you tell your viewers your audience whoever it may be your customers to tag you in their posts all right so those were 10 examples of instagram dropshipping stores now let's quickly go over how you can start dropshipping on instagram yourself so the first thing that you need to do is you need to create an instagram account this is pretty obvious and it's pretty simple to do all you have to do is just go on over to instagram.com or download the app sign up fill out all of the necessary information which is really just going to be what what you want your page to be called and i suggest using the same name as your website then after that you actually need to create your store so decide where you want to sell do you want to sell on shopify do you want to sell on your own website so if you want to sell on your own website you can choose shopify wix or woocommerce at the same time you don't have to sell on your own website if you don't want to do that if it's too much work for you or if you don't like designing websites overall what you can do is you can start selling on different platform you can easily sell on ebay you can sell on Etsy, you can sell on Amazon. Then the next thing you need to do is choose a niche and choose the products within your niche. Once you know what niche you wanna sell in, then you do need to find the products. Now, the easiest way that you can do this is by simply going to AutoDS. Once you go to AutoDS, you are gonna have to create an account if you don't have one. And if you don't have one, then you can get started right now for the trial period for just $1. But this is gonna be probably the easiest way that you can find some of the best products to dropship and the fastest way you can import them to your store. So here you have the winning product section and you have the marketplace here you have tons of different products that are currently trending and have been proven to sell in the past this is all backed by years of data that's collected through expert dropshippers so let's say for example you want to start selling toys and games you can go ahead and just click on the toys and hobby section over here and start looking through all of the different products that they have now let's go ahead and let's try this right here the flying balloon ball let's say you want to sell this in your dropshipping store because you're focusing on toys so if that's the case then you can just go ahead and import draft and what that's going to do is import it directly to your store it'll be ready to sell within minutes aside from that you also get a bit more information here so you get a profit analysis which for one helps you find out more or less how much you can sell this item for and how much you can make from each sale aside from that you also get an example facebook ad now this is an ad that's actually currently running on facebook and the reason this is here is so that way you can more or less figure out or start to structure your own ads. This can help you structure your ads if you don't know how to do it. Now, on top of that, you also get a target audience. This target audience can help you target a particular demographic of people for your Facebook ad. So the people that are being targeted for this Facebook ad more than likely are using a very similar target audience as this right here. And just in case you need a little bit of help with your dropshipping store, if you don't know how to design your own website, then you also have a website that's selling this same item. This can help you structure your website by more or less using it as a guide. Now, of course, if you have your own suppliers or if you wanna source your products from a few different websites, you definitely have the option to do that. If you're looking for a few different suppliers, you can always go with somebody like AliExpress, eBay, Etsy, Walmart, Amazon, Alibaba, bang good the list goes on and again if you want a full list of this just go ahead and check out the description down below all of the information will be in the article linked then once you have everything set up you need to start marketing your store how do you market your store easy the same way that we just saw everyone doing it on instagram start taking pictures start making reels start making videos tell people to tag you in their posts tell people to tag you whenever they receive their items and have them do an unboxing i know a lot of the times customers are going to be like i don't want to do that and they just end up won't doing it so what you can do to incentivize them to do that is offer them a discount give them an extra five or ten percent off their next order if they tag you in their posts or let's say in their first unboxing video aside from that you can run ads on your instagram posts so whenever you make a post whether it be a picture or a reel or a video you can go ahead and pay to have it advertised to a wider audience personally though i like organic marketing i like making the videos it's a bit more interactive for me so it's really personal preference and you have to find out what works for you once you start marketing your products you're going to 
gonna start getting a few different orders. And at that point, the next thing you need to do is actually fulfill those orders. Now, the good thing about this is that you can do this manually. So you can either go to your supplier's website, place the order and have it shipped directly to your customer. But as I always say, that takes a lot of work, especially when you're fulfilling multiple orders. So I like to use AutoDS. AutoDS has automatic order fulfillment. So whenever somebody places an order in your store, it'll automatically be rerouted to your supplier. So that way they take care of absolutely everything. AutoDS will automate your entire store. So essentially you're becoming hands off. And that's pretty much all there is to it. As you can see, it's pretty easy and pretty fun to actually start a dropshipping store on Instagram. Instagram. It's fun to market it. It's fun to make the videos. And at the end of the day, it's probably one of the better ways to start getting your name out there and to start getting your brand out there. Now, with that being said, I hope this video was helpful. I hope it was informational. If you did find it helpful, if you enjoyed it, please make sure you smash that like button. And while you're there, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about dropshipping on Instagram or using Instagram to actually promote your different products. Huge thank you for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. As always, my name is Mario with AutoDS, and I'll catch you all next time.